the only Kenya's giant polytechnic college, the Kenya Polytechnic, is in the face of upgrading into a fully-fledged university. This is according to the Higher Education Minister, Professor Margaret Kamar. We are happy with the progress that uh, the Polytechnic has made since it was upgraded to be a university college. And um, they have prepared very well. The programs have, have been uh, upgraded, the university level, as you are aware. But, and for purposes of expanding um, access to higher education, we have identified the Kenya Polytechnic University College as one of the universities that will be upgraded before the end of the year. Professor Kamar said the institute will be under a mandate to develop and expand courses in technology to provide practical expertise that will enable the graduates to easily access the job market. This is not just going to be like any other university. It is going to be one of three uh, technical universities. We need technical universities in this, in this country. We need them because they are the producers of technologists and technicians. Technicians and technologists are the people that will be required for the unlocking of the Vision 2030 and for the development of this country. The minister was speaking at the signing of a memorandum of understanding on scientific and technological collaboration between the Ministry of Higher Education of Kenya and China's Ministry of Higher Education, Science and Technology at the Kenya Polytechnic. We are not going to lose our TVET programs when we upgrade the university to be a technical university. This will be a technical university that will continue to offer diploma and certificate courses in the technical areas because for every engineer that you produce, you must actually produce at least four technicians. The MOU will also cover the areas of training in science and technology, environment, new and renewable energy and biology. The Chinese government has also sponsored the solid state lighting system at the Kenya Polytechnic University College. Samuel Tawish, GBS News.